All right, so for those of you that have never been to the Portneuf River, this is it. You got a lot of high banks. We're right out of the town of Lava Hot Springs. You can look that way. That little mountain right there, Lava Hot Springs is right on the other side of that. Now, you got a little bit of a high bank action on most of this river here, which means you got to find places like Big Mike did right there where you can go down. Now, the great thing about this place is you're only, you know, 45 minutes from Pocatello. You're two hours from Salt Lake. You got a lot of people that are stopping and camping in this area on their way to Yellowstone and a lot of people that are using the hot springs down in town as well. So if you can find a place like this where you can walk down, there's a lot of trout to be caught here in this area. Now I'm gonna try not to fall. Big Mike, what do you got going? Uh, red fireball. All right, so Big Mike has got a red fireball. Matter of fact, it looks like he's got two red fireballs. Just show us those in the palm of your hand real quick so we can see them. There's two red fireballs. Now he's gonna make a cast and see if he can hook up right away. Now you got a lot of these little waterfalls like that in this river, uh, real small, but they create these real deep holes like this and we know there's trout around. Now we're gonna see if we can get one on this cast. And if not, we'll get one on the next. All right, we didn't get them on the first cast. But I smell a second bite here. Second cast bite. Come on. Got him. Oh, what? Just like that. All right, we're going to see if the third time is truly the charm. There it is. Got him. Big Mike gets him. Oh, oh, where's the net, Big Mike? Big Mike, here you go. Oh, we got a jumper. Look at the other ones out there following around. Yeah, there's some nice fish out there. And just like Ooh, that, that's why took, Big Mike uses the red fireballs, folks. It took me a minute, but got them. Look at the ones chasing. Yeah, wow. There's three or four of them right there with him. Chartreuse garlic fire bait. Right behind you, right there, right there. Nice one. Got there him. Go. All right, I want to cover with you today what I was using and how I was using it. All right, first of all, I want to tell you that Big Mike stole his son's rod, so he's out fishing me for a little bit because he's using eggs, which always work in rivers. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to use fire bait and see how it worked. So I had a difficult time at first. I was trying to get the setup correct. I was using a hook, a small salmon egg hook. I was getting short strike, wasn't able to set hooks. I had to experiment quite a bit to get this done. So this is what worked for me today. So I used a small pin float on my end with some weights as far as to take it down, separated weights. And I actually went to a size four mosquito hook when I was able to finally hook these fish. So it's a little bit larger than I like to use, but it seemed to work on this river pretty well. So what I was using was chartreuse fire bait. The reason I had that split shot, because firebait floats, I wanted the split shot to take it down to the strike zone. So what I was doing, just open that up here, and you can see I used quite a bit of it today, but I was using a really small section of it. So this is pretty much all I was using. So roll it up, put it on the hook, and I was leaving the top end of the hook exposed because I was having a tough time setting hooks. They're just barely grabbing it and letting go in the stalker trout. So I was using a small piece just like this, letting it drift down. And one shot after another, these things were just nailing the chartreuse. I could see and smell what he's doing. He's got chartreuse garlic fire bait on there. He's using a small piece. You know, we all know that trout love fire bait, especially in an area like this. There it is. You don't need a massive piece. Now Joe is going to cast right up into what we're calling a conveyor belt. By that, we're talking about you've got fast water coming in and it's bringing food into where all these trout are hanging out. So the trout are right on the edge of the sides of the conveyor belt, just so they can stay out of the fastest moving water. So that means some of them are right here, right along the edge of this side. Some of them are on the edge of that side. And the other ones are right there. He just got bit. You can let it go again, Joe, you still got bait. So some of them are right over here, right at the edge of the fast moving water, kind of where Joe just casted right now. Just oh, like Joe thought. Run right at the end of the conveyor belt. The trout are just hanging out, waiting for that garlic smelling fire bait, just like that. And if you're here camping, 
That is exactly what you want to put in the skillet right there. Got him. Pulled him out of the deep stuff over there at the end of the conveyor belt. Oh, that's probably the smallest one of the day. You know what? They're big, <laughs> they're small, they're in between. They're biting. Okay, guys, this is what I was doing today. You see me catch a lot of fish and release them. I got a six and a half foot rod with a four pound test. I'm using a float with a shot line, down to a size 12 hook. The reason I'm using the float is to keep it in the seam and they're perfectly hooking them dead in the nose. But I'm putting one pink shrimp egg on a size 12 hook. And that's all I was using. You got these high banks over here. It's gonna be an interesting land on these trout. Oh man, big Mike. Really nice trout. What do you got on there? Can we bring a net? Joe, can you bring him the net? Uh pink shrimp. Holy, look at that beetle right there. Yeah. Welcome to Idaho, folks. Where there's beetles and trout. And this is a nice one. Oh boy, oh. I'm gonna film this. I am definitely Let's gonna film this. this. Because if he goes in, that's a really nice trout, Big Mike. Oh! That's a nice trout, Big Mike. Yeah, second one. Here we go, second cast, beautiful little rainbow with some pink shrimp. We're gonna put him back and catch his brother. It's like clockwork, Big Mike. I'm sweating, so I wanna get this done quick. Yep. <laughs> Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from Southeast Idaho. We're on the Portneuf River. This is roughly 30 minutes outside of Pocatello. And it's a great place for locals to go fishing, for tourists to go fishing, for families to go fishing, simply because we found an area just upstream of Lava Hot Springs that is loaded with public access. This is the lower Portneuf area. People camp here. They put their trailers here. They use day use areas here and they have access to the river up and down where Idaho Game and Fish stocks a load of trout a year. Now these fish, they're about 7,500 rainbows that average roughly 10 inches get released every year. Now stocking starts in June, it goes through October, and there's a tremendous amount of public access. Now the area you're looking at from the air right now is the lower port of campground area. They also stock between there and the upper port which is further upstream if you follow the highway you'll see it right up there there's a big brown sign you can't miss it they stuck the two bridges in between there as well now we didn't see a lot of fishing pressure here ironically we were here for a little bit talked to a lot of anglers that said they didn't do very well uh, i think they walked the wrong direction interestingly enough is if you go in that campground there is a what appears to be dirt road i don't have the key to that you don't have the key to that we can't get in there, but Fish and Game does. They're able to take their truck down through there and stock some of these holes away from the campground. So sometimes if you walk a little bit like we did, you'll find a lot of success. Now, our success today came on several different baits. We mixed it up a little bit. We started with chartreuse garlic fire bait. As you know, the garlic and the vibrant colors draw in those trout. It did very well, very well for us as well. We also used red fireballs. Now, these are a little bit different than some of the real eggs you guys have used in the past. The reason why we like them is they don't break in your hands. They stay on the hook longer. They're artificial and they work just as good as regular salmon eggs. Now, when it came to those regular salmon eggs, when they got conditioned to the red fireballs, we switched over to the pink shrimp salmon eggs. It's a color not a lot of people use here in Idaho, but you know what? That's why we used it. We knew that so many people were probably using some of our other more popular colors. So we came down here with those pink shrimp eggs and did very well with those as well. Keep in mind, we are only a few minutes from Lava Hot Springs where thousands of tourists a day hang out. They're tubing down the river, they're going to the water parks, they're eating, they're being tourists. Drive a mile up the road and here you see this paradise where you may have it all to yourself. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, 
size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.